Well, on the screen, what you see is a special type of sensors to detect an infrared radiations emitted by an object. For example, our body, human body, emits a certain types of infrared radiations and many other objects also emit radiations which are called as infrared radiation so this type of device or a sensor is used to detect and measure those infrared radiations and this type of sensor is called as infrared detector or IR sensor with the nanotechnology a sensor called as microbolometer so since it is in the micro scale it is called as microbolometer or a micro IR sensor so what you see here it contains a base which is a silicon substrate and then in the green you see there are electrodes that are deposited on top of these silicon substrate then in the pink you see there is another material which acts as a reflector and in the yellow you see those are gold contacts the contacts to the electrode and in the red a thin film called as IR absorbing material is then deposited so what happens here is that when you have an infrared radiations that falls on this red color IR absorbing material this material absorbs those infrared waves and it hits up so there are two dimensional arrays of many such elements in a typical sensor that makes a complete micro sensor and those after absorbing those IR day IR rays this material hits up and the radiations are also reflected back to this material from this reflector here on the silicon substrate there is also a readout circuit so when this red material absorbs the IR waves it hits up and the result is that it changes its own resistance that resistance is then converted into proportional output voltage by means of a readout circuit which is fabricated on the same silicon substrate and then that voltage is correlated with the intensity of the IR waves so this is the basic principle of microbolometer and the IR sensor so hope you understand this you like and comment on the video and share with others do subscribe to the channel till then wish you happy learning